In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to uh, draw a triangle when you're given the signs. Uh, and I'm loosely following the directions from the technical drawing with engineering graphics text by Gasecki. Um, and I'm, of course, modifying the directions to suit AutoCAD. Now, I will tell you uh, in the following exercise, um, when you're uh, instructed to draw a right triangle, uh, when you're given a hypotenuse in one side, you'll have to do that one on the on your own without video instruction. But I'm going to provide some video instruction uh, for this particular exercise. Just wanted to give you a heads up. So, um, so I, I've drawn three lines down below your exercise that aren't um, part of your assignment, but I, this is uh, for demonstration purposes. I'm going to use these. So, what I would uh, recommend doing is just simply copying over the bottom line okay into the space provided so uh, you can either use the copy button on the modify panel of the home tab or you can uh, just type CP and then enter and that'll that'll start the copy command okay uh, pressing the button does the same thing as typing CP okay so right now uh, AutoCAD has asked me to select the object so let me select the bottom line and then enter okay and now it asks me to specify a base point for for this particular um, demonstration you can pick any point on the base point um, I mean any point on the line as your base point okay so I'll just pick the end and I'll just slide it um, over to the right and of course on yours you'll slide it into the space provided okay so that's one side of our triangle and now we need to uh, work on the other two sides and the, the way I would do that um, if you haven't already go to your uh, construction layer and then just draw a circle okay we want to use the the regular circle uh, center with a radius option. You can also just type C into the command line followed by pressing enter and <coughs> excuse me AutoCAD asked me to specify the center point for the circle so I want to select the end point of the line make sure that you have your end point running object snap turned on so I will click there and the second point of my circle will be the end point, the other end point of the line okay so now I've created a circle that has a radius equal to the length of this line okay and you'll see what we're about to uh, how, how that's useful here in just a moment so now let me move that circle so I want to select move okay and then select the circle and then enter also uh, M and then enter would have done the same thing uh, if you have typed M followed by pressing enter on your keyboard uh, select the objects enter then I will select the end point of the line. Now recognize that the end point of this line is the center point of the circle. They're one and the same. So let me left click. And then I just want to move the circle to the end point of this line. Okay. So let's do that same, um, same thing again with this line. So I want to draw a circle. So C, enter. I want the center point to be here. The uh, edge of the circle to be here at the end point of the other line. And now I want to move that circle. So move, enter, and then I'll, from the center point or the end point of that line, I will place the circle um, here. All right. So so now these circles have radii. Okay. So um, and this has a radius, and this has its own radius. Okay. They're 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 different, but what we have created is this intersection point here. So let me go back to my visible layer. Okay. And then I will draw a line from the end point of this line to the intersection of these two points. Make sure you have your intersection snap turned on, running object snap. And remember, you can always change those here. Okay. Uh, so the intersection is right here. So make sure that's turned on. So intersection and then to the end point of this line. Okay. And I said in the directions, don't leave your construction circles in the drawing, so I want to erase those. Okay, so now this triangle has the same side lengths as the given sides. Okay, this line, if you look at the properties palette, has a length of 9. This has a length of 9. This line has a length of 6. This line has a length of 6. And this line has a length of 10. And this line has a length of 10. Of course, you, you don't need to do this one. I'm just uh, I did for you. This was for demonstration purposes only. You'll just do the uh, the five shown here. So uh, good luck, and that uh, this concludes this video.